Castor and Pollux, the twins of Greek and Roman mythology, were born with a special bond. Their mother was Queen Leda of Sparta, and while Castor was the mortal son of King Tyndareus, Pollux was the divine son of Zeus. Interestingly, they were born from the same egg, along with their sisters Clytemnestra and Helen of Troy. This unique birth had created an exceptional bond between the brothers. The twins were sometimes referred to as the Gemini or Castors, in Latin, as well as Tyndarity or Tyndarids. Pollux had always wanted his mortal brother to have the gift of immortality, and Zeus had granted his request. They were transformed into the constellation Gemini, always together in the night sky. Castor and Pollux were not only known for their brotherly love and devotion but also for their patronage of sailors. The sailors would see them in the form of St. Elmo's fire, indicating good luck and safety while traveling on the sea. Additionally, the twins were closely associated with horsemanship, which can be traced back to their origin as the Indo-European horse twins. The Dioscuri remain a prominent feature in Greek and Roman mythology, celebrated for their unwavering loyalty and everlasting bond as brothers, a bond that even death did not break. Their story has captured the imagination of many, and their legend continues to live on. Castor and Pollux, twin brothers from Greek mythology, were known for their brave and heroic deeds. They were once on a cattle raid in Arcadia with their cousins, who were already betrothed to the women the brothers intended to marry, Phoebe and Hilaira. During the raid, the cousins tricked Castor and Pollux and stole the entire herd by suggesting a race to finish the meat between two pairs of cousins, in which they killed their calf. At a feast in their uncle's home in Sparta, Castor and Pollux avenged their cousins by stealing their herd. However, this led to the kidnap of Helen by Paris and the beginning of the Trojan War. While freeing the cattle, Castor was fatally wounded by a spear from his enraged cousin Idas, who was later killed by Zeus. Pollux was given the option by Zeus to spend his entire time on Mount Olympus or share half of his immortality with his mortal brother Castor. He chose to share his immortality. As a result, the twins alternated between Olympus and Hades, becoming the stars of the constellation Gemini. They were also known for aiding shipwrecked men, just like Poseidon rewarded them with horses. Castor and Pollux's story highlights the importance of brotherly love and loyalty, which is immortalized in the skies for generations to come. The Dioscuri, also known as the Gemini Twins, were born into a world of mystery and intrigue. While some believed their father was the mortal king Tyndareus, others claimed that they were sired by Zeus himself. Despite the confusion surrounding their parentage, the brothers were well known for their unique gifts and abilities. Castor, the mortal twin, was regarded as an expert horseman and skilled boxer. He trained tirelessly to hone his physical abilities, and in time, became a patron of athletes and athletic contests. Pollux, on the other hand, was considered to be divine, possessing an otherworldly power that set him apart from his brother. Together, the brothers were famous for their role as protectors of mankind. They were known to help travelers and sailors in particular, guiding ships through treacherous waters and ensuring safe passage to their destinations. Their sisters, Timandra, Phoebe, and Philono, were also revered, and often praised for their beauty and intelligence. Despite their godly status, the Dioscuri remained humble and approachable, always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Their legacy of selflessness and bravery has made them some of the most revered figures in Greek mythology, and their legend continues to inspire and awe people to this day. Castor and Pollux were twin brothers from Greek mythology, and their story was told in various versions. They were often depicted as ordinary mortals, but some believed they were men of equal honor to gods. According to myth, they were born to Tyndareus and Leda, but there were debates about their parentage. Pindar stated that Pollux was the son of Zeus, while Castor was the son of Tyndareus. Their legend often shares the theme of ambiguous parentage, as is the case in other heroes' stories such as Heracles and Theseus. They were known as the Dioscuri, meaning they were inseparable. 
The gods granted them alternate days of life, and they were semi-divine, as mentioned in Homer's Odyssey, where they were considered alive despite the corn-bearing earth holds them. Castor and Pollux played a part in two of Euripides' plays before meeting their tragic end due to the events leading to the death of their patron, Scopus. Simonides of CEOs is said to have narrowly escaped an unfortunate fate after praising Castor and Pollux too much in an ode celebrating his patron's victory in a chariot race. Their story remained a popular subject for artists and writers, and their legacy continued to inspire people even to this day. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.